Morning guys. I'm out here watching the there's bats out here flying around. I hope they get them mosquitoes. <laughs> Those things are are ornery, that's for sure. It's been a good morning. Uh, come out here about four o'clock. Cup pot of coffee, which is about gone. But yeah, it's a it's a nice morning. This the birds have been up. Kind of halfway cloudy out here this morning. You know, I was on my mind this morning about uh, this is Sunday and. Uh, that people go to church today. I don't do that. I stopped going to church. Started uh, looking things up myself and, and understanding scripture is a bit different. A lot, a lot different. You know, it's funny, you get the right translation and, and uh, start looking things up. <laughs> you get a different outlook on life. You know, it's amazing what happens when you get the right translation. They, they was, uh, you know, you learn words. Uh, a little red bird over there on that fence. I don't know if you can see him or not, I doubt it. But, you know, they use, say that God can't even look on sin. Can't look at it. <clears throat> it's not what the Bible says. You know what Habakkuk 1, I think it's 13, where it talks about, you know, God, uh, where they get this, the verse about God not looking on sin. But he does, you know, it says he does. He's, why do you look at it favorably, you know? The, uh, I have to get it up there and read it out, but if you read that right, that's not what it's saying. Uh God is love. You know, when Adam and Eve seeing what Adam done bad and done messed everything up for us. <laughs> God intended it to happen, by the way. You know, it ain't nothing surprised God. Nothing. You can't surprise God. He's, he knows what you're doing. But anyway, when Adam done his deal, what did he do? Adam tried to hide, didn't he? Uh, God did. God went looking for him. He said, you know, hey, where are you at? And I said, well, you know, I'd try to hide from you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jesus come. He, Jesus was a sin offering. Come, He was a sin offering for us. And, and the wage of the sin is death. But you know what? Jesus beat death, didn't he? Yeah, he did. We've been justified by the, by his blood. Yep. That's what happens. That's what happened. Yeah, we have freedom in Christ. That's for sure. We we got that, don't we? Yep. Look words up. They mean things. You know, they this this uh, hellfire and damnation that that's out there. We got. Uh, Hellfire, you know, God is a consuming fire. You know, that's what the Bible tells us. God is a consuming fire. And fire is a, purifies, doesn't it? Same as the, that's what it does. And uh, that's what God does. He, he purifies us over time. You know, he'll, uh, righteousness, Isaiah tells us that righteousness will be all throughout the land. How's that going to happen? Well, God's going to purify us. That's what happens. We get purified, uh, justified by the blood of the cross. You know. <laughs> yeah. Have freedom in Christ. Get out and and learn. Get the right translations and learn things and, and see that you know things change once you understand it. Yeah, it's a pretty day. Get out and see it. Get out and see it. It's going to be nice. 
It's a great day to be alive, ain't it? Yeah, get you a cup of coffee. <laughs> I've had mine. <clears throat> yep. I've had it. So. Hope you all have a great day. It's going to be awesome. It's a good day to be alive. We'll talk to you guys later.